Mustang's gonna go on the street for a few weeks before I hit up Irwindale, uh, which is my local drag strip. I'm thinking about going there earliest the 18th of this month, or just on the 2nd or 3rd of August. Uh, just because I got some things to do and I want to take the car out to some uh, some little things I got going on. But it gives me time to, uh, I guess, preset my pump gas tune. Right now on MS109 race fuel, I'm on uh, 10 pounds of peak boost. Working with that, with pump gas, you know, Lund doesn't want to see anything over 10. So I'm going to keep it safe, keep it like about 8. Over boost to 8.8, .8, aim for 8 pounds. And just have like a solid street car when I need to. I know I have 8 pounds accessible, ready to rock. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm going to get her, uh, hopefully I got space. I mean, it's getting kind of crowded with traffic. But we'll see, man. Uh, enjoy this video. guys what's up man so uh you've seen a little bit of uh the mustang it peaked out at 8.8 .8 pounds of boost on 10 percent duty which is actually pretty pretty good man uh it actually gave me some ideas on potentially reaching out a, a bigger peak boost when i'm back on race field after this little bout of of 91 i guess uh tuning or whatever uh but basically the point of this video today, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be using the Mustang on the daily and this is the reason why I'm I'm, I'm able to run a 91 tune because I have a 91 tune, 91, 93 Lund tune. You know, keep it on the 10 pounds is what Lund recommends. Get me around the city, go where I need to go. Car still feels right. And then the MS-109 race fuel, which it is, which is right over there, those cans. Uh, that's for when I go to the track. That's when I do all my real serious testing on the trans brake, build boost up, all that stuff. Right now, all I really care about is uh, getting to about 8 pounds, which I did. 8.8 .8 pounds. I'm going to mess with my sensitivity and gain. Try to get that thing up there quick and stay there. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I uh, just wanted to run by a quick, uh, another quick, uh, I guess, rundown on what I have on the car since I've been asked. Uh, if you're interested in more in depth, check out my other videos of when I go about through this whole process since the beginning of this year i've been on turbo so but anyways i'm running a, a, a single turbo with a, a t4 uh open flange uh with headers facing forward one and five eighths primaries with a three eighth flange uh two and a half inch uh merging pipes uh 88 69 turbo easy capable of making you know 10 to 15 pounds of boost easy uh ebay turbo journal ball bearing not a dual i mean not a uh what is it a billet ball bearing no not billet uh dual ball bearing yeah dual ball bearing not yet correct me if i'm wrong but basically it's a journal uh journal bearing system on this uh got two waste gates controlling the boost about a eight to a nine pound uh spring in there with the go fast bits uh controller which works great got my vacuum block there that works works great three inch uh charge pipe which is going to be increased to 3.5 a little later not just yet three inches over here 50 millimeter blow off valve on an inner cooler three inches in three inches out uh oil cooler oil filter is relocated to there kind of put put it together myself not a set one i can tell you all i know is that i got my oil plate feeding plate which feeds and drains the turbo on gen 2 coyotes only uh, through Canton Racing Products, and then this I pieced up together through Summit Racing is a Derali system there that I kind of fabbed up and put where I wanted. So, no, really can't tell you what kit that is because I kind of pieced it together. Uh, Mission Motor Radiator, 
1000 cc fuel injector clinic uh, injectors relocated my overflow over there uh so that's pretty much it oil gears mmr oil gears and crank gear <laughs> kind of you know let her kind of uh get on that two-step feel a little safer with that uh what else man that's pretty much it right now currently on 91 pump fuel on a boost pump no fuel system yet that is on my list next because i want to go to e85 but i'm going to utilize what i have now to be quite honest with you i don't know how long just for a little bit you know use it eventually i do want to go with at least a dual pump system back there run full 85 on this sucker uh that way i don't have to be buying you know ms 109 all the time but it's not like i'm driving the thing as much as i would like anyways i mean i got the exhaust sticking out the hood here and i'm in cali we all know that uh little hectic but still fun so uh let's get back in this thing let's see if i can mess around with my gain and sensitivity see how that feels with the boost and go from there man so enjoy it all right guys we're in here i do eventually got to get some gas i just had about like three gallons in the tank uh that i put in just so i can you know get it started but uh it's good that i'm using it though keep the battery you know charged up anyways we're on preset two right now so let me show you guys uh if you go here preset three not i'm probably not going to use those so for example this is my drag racing one 10 pounds is where we're at on that one right uh 10 pounds peak boost duty is at 50 percent on that one might have to play around with that a little bit now gains at 35 percent sensitivity what is that 35 also so that's kind of what i like playing with over boost is that huh I, what happened there <laughs> on let me double check this again i think it changes every single time so i gotta make sure <laughs> so my duty is at 50 percent peak boost 10 <laughs> let's see my my over boost should be like around 15 no then i have to check that again because it looks like <laughs> whether you go so for example that's preset one so i'll go to preset two <laughs> Let's see, 8.8, 8, 8. 8, right? So my preset 1, Mac peak boost is 10. My preset 2 is 8.8 uh, 8 for 91 pump gas. Preset 1 is for MS-109. But it looks like if I if I go to over boost, it stays in the same spot. Yeah, 8.8. 8, so I got to make sure when I go to my preset 1, I got to change that. So that's good. That's good to know, I guess. <laughs> Let's see where I'm at, dude. It should be 10 at 8.8. .8. Good. And then my gain, let's see where we're at. Yeah, I left it at 20. Sensitivity is at 20. Okay, good. So right now I left it. Let's see how that uh, how that uh, fans out with the car. Let's go. Let's go mess with her. I'm not gonna push it too much on pump gas. I mean, you know, I'm uh, I'm trying to make sure this car lasts me at least to the end of the year. You know, got things I got plans for her. Man, it's so hot out here today. It says 72, but I doubt it human sweating bullets I'm curious to see how this gain gain is supposed to get it there quick to your peak boost as quick as it can sensitivity is supposed to keep it there if there's variations within as it's shifting gears and all that so that's uh that's that's good to see here
get it looks like it gets it gets to eight pounds pretty quick there quick and it stays there which is good that means if I'm pulling hard which I shouldn't be on the street uh, it's gonna get me to eight pounds fairly quick that's good I like that excellent all right guys so you see I'm pretty content with the Mustang uh, on the street Staying consistently at eight pounds, did about two pulls. Her major pulls, but you know, from second to third. And she's staying within eight pounds, which is pretty good. It's pretty hot out here right now. Uh so that's why I wasn't on the street that long. But uh yeah, man, it's it's good. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with the Mustang a little bit on the street as much as I possibly can. You know, have some fun out there with it, go to these uh couple little family things I gotta wanna take care of uh with the car, and then hopefully I can get her back into the you know the drag strip mode you know after that because it's getting close man now that i'm at 10 pounds on race fuel pick up some booze let's see how she does but you know it's one thing at a time you know one step at a time other than that man this concludes this video i'll be back at you guys very very soon with another one but uh yeah other than that man you guys have a great day